This is from Anonymous, and she says, I'm not going to do keto or carnivore because I'm vegan, but I would like those impressive results. Can you weigh, at, weigh in on what it is about keto and carnivore that is decreasing visceral fat significantly? And then she says, then can you talk about other ways to decrease visceral fat? Because apparently a lot of doctors are uh, pushing the kind of diet because their patients have had success with it. One physician in particular is even tracking MRIs to show the improvement. I don't know when MRIs are, so. Chef AJ, you know, the number one question I, we used to get was, where do you get your protein from? Right. You know what the number one question now is this. It's like, it's about keto and paleo and how they're so effective up front, right? Uh, they're, they're, they, they can be very effective at losing weight, right? Remember Atkins? Mm -hmm. He's dead now. He's dead. He died a sudden death. He collapsed. Which goes to tell you something. Uh, for a multiplicity of reasons, when you eat a carbohydrate-poor diet, right, which is basically primarily consisting of animal proteins and, and their associated saturated fats. Um, um, it, it does upfront from our experience show that you can lose weight. Do you, do you agree with me, Chef AJ? Absolutely. And I have seen patients where they can drop their blood sugars. But the problem is, is that um, you may get these short-term gains, but they will not be they will not be long-lasting. And the kinds of foods that are consumed in this process are are ultimately highly disease-causing foods. They are the basis for the development of diabetes. These foods, in other words, animal proteins and saturated fats are the basis for the development of cancer. They are the basis for the development of, of cardiovascular disease and clogging up our arteries because they are the basis of inflammation. They cause inflammation. Where does inflammation come from? Well, a major place it comes from is from visceral fat. And um, I, I do not, I suspect highly that it's, it's not the consumption of the animal proteins and their saturated fat that is leading to the diminution of visceral fat in these people. And I'll explain what visceral fat is in a second. It's probably the avoidance of ultra processed foods and crap, right? That's probably what it is. It's what paleo and, and the paleo and keto movements like to call uh, carbs. Because I've noticed when, when people who are eating a diet like this say carbs, they're generally not talking about vegetables, although vegetables are made out of carbohydrates, right? Um, a lot of the time they may not even mean whole grains or beans. They probably mean grains, but maybe not beans, but those are whole carbohydrates. I think what they mean is like bread and cereal and stuff like that. So in any event, um, just a word about visceral fat for our listeners. What is visceral fat? Visceral fat is what I like to call the mother of all disease. Um, it is an accumulation of a specific kind of fat which is deep with hidden within the abdominal cavity between the deep or visceral organs in your abdomen, like the pancreas, the liver, the kidneys, the colon. And this stuff is bad stuff. It's, it's probably 
perhaps the most toxic kind of tissue in your body. And the reason why is it because it, cause, it pours out and elaborates a lot of molecules that cause inflammation in your body. And that inflammation then is the bedrock of chronic disease. So what I'm trying to say is uh, when people come to our practice here, we always, the first thing, first day they come in, we assess their visceral fat and then we monitor it. And what we do here at Ethos Primary Care is we do the opposite of putting, giving people chicken and meat and fish and some, we only give them plants and we see enormous, very quick uh, reduction in visceral fat as per our measurements. So um, I, I believe that the, the, the people or the doctors who are, are having some, some reductions, I'm not saying that they're lying, they, they probably are, but it's probably from what I've noticed in my experience from the reduction of processed foods, like processed crap plant foods. Now, I also noticed that this young lady identified herself as a vegan. Mm -hmm. And uh, whenever someone, as a whole food plant-based person, whenever I hear the word vegan, I imagine that it includes oil, right? Olive oil, mm, uh, things like salt, things like processed vegan foods like coconut oil or vegan ice cream or impossible burgers or stuff like that. And I do believe those things do contribute to the development of visceral fat. So I would try a high level of whole food, whole plant foods like in, that are in Chef AJ's cookbooks. And I think that that causes optimal uh, weight loss and optimization of your weight optimization, optimal loss of visceral fat and the reversal of disease. I can't tell you how many people, I often see people who are on keto and paleo diets having heart attacks, having, you know, uh, cardiovascular events. I've never seen a person who ate a, a, a high level whole food plant-based diet ever having this. I rest my case.